Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. You have a problem. You are an author who is trying to use Calibre to create EPUBs, and your EPUBs are corrupt for some reason. You probably watched my earlier video on Smashwords, and you're like, it's not the problem with LibreOffice or Microsoft Office. It's not a problem with my Word document. There is something going on, and the EPUB is just not working. Uh, I have the solution. It's actually pretty simple. This isn't a problem for readers, but this is a problem for authors who use Calibre, and Calibre is a wonderful piece of software. It's my favorite. I use it for my Nooks and all my eBooks. Yeah, I mean, you can even see up here I stripped my DRM, and I have another plugin for my Kindle DRM, so I have, I own everything I, uh, I purchase. So, before we get into the very quick and easy fix, we need to understand why this is happening because it's going to make complete sense and then you'll never have to worry about this again like i said before this is a powerful program for uh ebook readers and our problem is basically a, a holdover from that um let's go over to view and we can go into one of my books and the viewfinder is basically this is what people used to do for their ebooks before we had our nice e-readers you know you'd read on your uh, computer screen, gets nicely formatted on here, you'd keep all your books, you'd have your library. That piece of null uh, code is directly tied to this. What it is, is a checkpoint system that Caliber puts in that your ebook verification or valid validity i don't i don't know what the programs they use but your epub checker this is why smashwords draft to digital kobo uh, i think everyone but barnes and noble is going to reject an epub from caliber so let's do the first incorrect thing you will want to go to preferences and fix this and this is not where it is it's actually not where it is at all uh, and this is a problem with Calibre. This is what's going to make you very, very angry. What you need to do is go right back to view. So we go right over here. And now you need to go into the viewer preferences. You go down to miscellaneous options. And right down here, you'll see keep a copy of bookmarks slash current page inside the ebook file for easy sharing. This thing will be automatically checked. This is so uh, when people are using Calibre to actually read their ebooks, that's how it's going to be able to still bookmark. Uh, that is the null piece of code. Uncheck it, and that should fix it. Now, what I did is I kind of went nuclear. You go to your ebook, your e file, go to the metadata, remove this with the little uh, recycling, and then add everything right back in, or add your ODT or dot docx. And then go straight back to convert your books into your EPUB, your Mobi, your PDF, uh, you know, kind of the things that still actually take these. And you'll never have any problem again. You can put Calibre on any of your computers and you're going to know, oh yeah, this is for readers, not necessarily for writers, and that should uh, help you out. So that's, that's it. That is the big thing uh this took me a few hours of a lot of searching around having to use google and bing and kind of going around message boards and figuring this out so make sure to favorite this or bookmark wherever you can go to easy storage and if you see anyone else having this problem just send the link their way just send them so they can see this and fix it because it really should not have taken as long as it took for me to figure this out uh, and we can get this done in like what a few minute long video along with my smash words video of making sure how to create a proper uh document this should be it there should be no more trouble for you if you are making uh a file to export out for your epubs and your dot mobies and whatnot to any of the retailers you don't even have to worry anymore because the last stumbling block should be this. Anyways, I hope this video helped you. I hope you learned something from it. I will see you all later.